We are gathered here to destroy these flags that have been deemed no longer serviceable. It is proclaimed that each of these flags has served well. These flags have inspired those who desired the taste of freedom and have represented hope to those oppressed by tyranny and terror. These flags have welcomed any and all in the name of liberty. The American flag flies free to the wind. The American flag flies above residential porches, campsites, small businesses, corporate offices, hospitals, schools, military and naval bases, government buildings, and nonprofit organizations. The flag is the most displayed and recognized banner in the world. And I have a uh, rules on flying the flag, or when to, fl when to fly the flag, kind of guidelines. And the first is the flag should be hoisted briskly and lowered ceremoniously. The flag is never allowed to touch the ground or the floor. When hung over a sidewalk, on a rope extending from a building to a pole, the Union stars are always away from the building. When vertically hung over the center of the street, the flag always has the Union stars to the north in an east-west street and to the east in a north-south street. The flag of the United States of America should be at the center and at the highest point of a group when a number of flags of states or localities or pennants are grouped and displayed. The flag should never be festooned, drawn back, nor up in folds, but always allowed to fall free. The flag should be displayed at half-staff until noon on Memorial Day and then raised to the top of the staff. Never fly the flag upside down except as a signal of distress in instances of extreme danger of life or property. The flag is never flown in inclement weather except when using an all-weather flag. The flag may be flown every day from sunrise to sunset and at night if illuminated properly. So those are the rules of flying a flag. Where our freedom has been deeply purchased by blood, sweat, tears, and the ultimate sacrifice. We must not forsake what those in the service of this flag and their families have forfeited. We have here this day an empty place of honor for those who cannot attend to devastating injury, infirmity, or death. That is our bench that has been built especially as a bench of honor for our departed comrades. <coughs> to all who see these represent greetings, know ye that these flags have served well and honorably their stars and stripes have been loose to the winds of freedom and have basked in the high, in the light of liberty. The flag code states that the flag, when it is in such condition that it no longer is a fitting member to display, should be destroyed in a dignified way, preferably by burning. So we have a folded flag here that is the uh, flag that draped the casket 
of our past commander, Harry Muskin. And it is uh, uh, folded in the proper uh, way that flags are folded with a 12-fold fold. And each one of those folds has a uh, meaning. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made to honor the remembrance of veterans departing our ranks who gave for the defense of our country to attain a peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature. For as American citizens trusting in God, it is to him we turn in times of peace, as well as in times of war, for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country for the words of Stephen Decatur, an acclaimed Navy veteran of the Barbary Wars and the War of 1812. Our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right, but it is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is where our hearts lie. It is with our heart that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces who protect our country and our flag against all their enemies. The eighth fold is a tribute to one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day, and to honor Mother, for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the characters of men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold in the eyes of the Hebrew citizen re represents the lower portion of the seal of the King of David and, the, and King Solomon and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold in the eyes of a Christian citizen represents an album emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost reminding us of our national motto, In God We Trust. Oh!